In one of my last videos, I showed you how to make some easy and healthy vegan lunches, and one of my followers requested some vegan lunch ideas for school so that's what I'm showing today and I show you three different ideas. The first one is a snack box featuring a homemade hummus and this hummus is so delicious guys it's so easy to make and just whip it up in your blender really and the snack box is really fun to take to lunch and just to nibble on. The second idea is a vegan burrito power bowl and this is so cool because it features quinoa. We can replace that with something else and also some vegan nut taco meat and that is just so easy to whip up in your blender and tastes so great as well so i'm really excited to share that with you and the third idea is a asian peanut noodle salad and yeah this features soba noodles which is really good for you because it has got buckwheat in it and i show you how to make this really delicious peanut dressing which also has miso and some tahini so yeah i hope you enjoy guys and let me know what you think bye so we're going to start off by making our hummus, so we're going to add in some drained chickpeas into our blender, a small garlic clove, some juice from a lemon, and this is just from a fresh lemon. Next we want to add in some tahini, and I'm using two tablespoons, some water just to make it easier to blend, some salt, I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever salt you have on hand, and we just want to blend the hummus until it's smooth. And while that's blending away, we can prep our vegetables. So I just cut up some cucumber, carrots, and celery. And these vegetables are really plain, but trust me, they taste so amazing with the hummus. Now this next part is optional, but I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of dukkha and some sumac just to give the hummus a little bit more flavor. And you can also use some paprika powder instead. In my other lunchbox, I'm just adding in some fruit to nibble on and I'm using apple, mango and watermelon but you can use things that don't require much preparation like grapes or berries. For the burrito bowl, we're going to start off by cooking our quinoa. So bring it to a boil, then put a lid on and let it steam on very low heat until it's fluffy and cooked. In the meantime, we're going to make our salsa, so add in some red onion or brown, fresh tomato and juice from half a lemon. Then we're going to season with a bit of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but you can use any salt you have, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we just want to blend that away, but make sure we don't over blend it. We still want little chunks in there. So see those little chunks? That's what we want. Oh yeah, you can also add in some coriander, but I don't like that, so no. Transfer salsa to something else, and then we're going to start on our nut meat. So I'm using almonds, but you can also use walnuts or pecans. Add in some garlic and onion powder, and then we're going to add in some cumin powder, of course, as well as some sweet paprika powder, some dried oregano, and then a little bit of salt and black pepper. We also want to add in some concentrated tomato paste, but you can also use sun-dried tomatoes to make this completely raw. And then we just want to blend away. See those little pieces of nut meat? That's what we want. So our quinoa should be cooked by now, so we just want to add that into our lunchbox. And if you have leftover rice, that would be perfect as well instead of the quinoa. So now I'm adding in the nut meat as well as some salad, and I just got the salad mix. It's really convenient. And I'm also going to add in the salsa, which is quite tangy, so we don't even need extra dressing. I'm also adding in some canned corn, which is really convenient. It also adds some color and sweetness. And of course, I'm also adding in some avocado. I'm also adding in a little wedge of lemon, which just makes it really pretty and fun, as well as some chili sauce. For the noodles, we're going to start off by cooking our soba noodles in some boiling water. If you don't have it, you can also use other noodles. I'm also going to pop on a colander to steam some broccoli with. You can also steam other vegetables this way and I'm also putting on a lid to make it work. In the meantime, we're going to make our sauce. I'm adding in some minced garlic, miso paste, tahini, peanut butter, apple cider vinegar, but you can also use another vinegar you have and this just intensifies the flavor. I'm also adding some rice malt syrup, but you can use another sweetener that you have, some sesame oil and some water to make it blend easier. And then just blend away. We also don't need to add salt to anything in this recipe because the miso is quite salty already. In my lunchbox, I'm going to add in the noodles that we cooked earlier as well as the steamed broccoli. You could also steam other vegetables with it or just the broccoli on its own. I'm also adding in some mixed salad and some chopped cucumber. And I'm going to drizzle the peanut miso tahini sauce on top and it's so delicious guys. If you like it spicy, you could also drizzle on some chili sauce. 
I'm also going to sprinkle on some homegrown spring onions and some sesame seeds to garnish with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Bye!